So, all right. CMOS checks some bad. It probably has a bad battery or something. Uh, F1 to run setup. Server. So, you know, it's a standard setup menu. The, the bit I'm showing you is under server, remote access configuration. Uh, note it's enabled. It's COM2, because that's what the uh, Roamer is plugged into. Uh, but it's set to 57600 8N1, where we have everything else set to 9600. It also has flow control set, which does not work with Roamer. Flow control none. Redirect after BIOS po posts, as usual, needs to be disabled. Uh, terminal type doesn't matter all that much. Uh, this is how long you want it to wait after it, show, after it uh, does a post, so that you can see the uh, see the the rank. All right. So now let's switch back. The digi and see if we see anything. All right, it kicked me out. Port access menu. What? Login. Root and uh, BBPS, right? Yeah, all right, so now we're seeing the bias. If you notice, you have, uh, you have the garbage from before. And that's one of the annoying things about a serial console is it doesn't, it doesn't refresh like a CRT would. Uh, but yeah, now we're, we're in, and you can configure uh, Linux also to use the serial console uh, instead of a CRT. Uh, it's very handy because you can log kernel panics, you can log, uh, and the problem with relying on the disk to log kernel panics is that quite often when you rely on the disk to log kernel panics, the system crashes before it can write that log to disk. But, uh, the, the path out the serial console or out the CRT is usually shorter. Uh, so I like it because I can I can see hardware problems. But yeah, I mean we, we've, we've gone as far as we're going to go today. Uh, from here you would want to uh, uh, set up your Linux server to uh, uh, console equals uh, uh, ttys1 comma a 9600 uh, AN1, something like that. Uh, yeah. Now the other thing we could cover is if you want the serial console to go faster, uh, you go back to that uh, Control Shift Six menu. Yeah. Six. I press question mark. Now this is kind of interesting. So. Change baud rate, A. Say I want my console to be uh, 11,500. So press 5. Please confirm by typing the password. The password is P4 confirm. Is that right? Yeah, all right. So it's broken now, I broke it. Uh, that P4 confirmed password is just the default password for the roamers. Uh, you know, again, search for Rackable Roamer default password and it'll come up. Uh, actually, I'm not sure how to reset this. So, this is Luke Crawford. Uh, I own PRGMR.com. We sell virtual private servers. Uh, I have about 70 servers, physical servers, and they all have serial ports with logging serial consoles to detect uh, hardware problems and to allow me access when networking is messed up. Uh, the Roamer is a very convenient way to combine the functionality of a rebooter and a serial console. Ricky. Hmm? Ah. Yeah, if you want to find uh, my references or pinouts or anything like that, 
uh, please see wiki.prgmr.com uh, for more information.